Hello everyone and welcome to this another episode of Mobile Legends Zero Tutorial Tips and Tricks. In this episode, we will be covering one of the most agile mage in the game which is Harith. What makes Harith a powerful hero in the game is his high mobility because of his unlimited dash and his powerful shield which makes him more difficult to kill. What you are about to learn in this episode are comprehensive and concise guide about the skills and abilities of Harith, two types of unlimited dash combos of Harith that are essential for your victory, item builds and emblems, and lastly, tips on how to use Harith properly. I encourage you my friend to finish this video till the end because I guarantee you that right after watching this video, your Harith gameplay will never be the same. So without further ado, let the tutorial begin. Kin, kin, kin. Through the passive skill, Harith gains the ability to reduce the time being controlled by the enemy by 45% depending on the number of enemies nearby. As you can see, the more enemies nearby, the shorter the control time. This skill will definitely give you the advantage during team fights. This is the indicator that the passive skill is active. With skill 1, Harith creates a mirror of his self and releases an energy wave damaging enemy units along the path. When the two energy waves collide, an explosion occurs which deals greater magic damage to all enemies inside the explosion. So make sure to aim your skill 1 properly so that you can deliver greater damage to your target. Through the second skill, Harith can dash to a designated direction. Once Harith arrives to the targeted location, he then generates a shield that can absorb any damage from the enemies. Always remember that the more enemies nearby, the more shield Harith will also gain. Aside from that, Harith's next basic attack is greatly enhanced which deals magic damage and slows the target by 40% for a short duration. The enhanced basic attack can also be used on enemy towers. If an enemy was hit by the enhanced basic attack, the cooldown of the second skill is immediately reduced by 3 seconds. Because of this, make sure to hit your enemy with your enhanced basic attack so that you can use your second skill more often. With the ultimate skill, Harith can summon a cross which immediately reduces the cooldown of his second skill. Any enemy who steps on the cross will be slowed by 35% for a short period. Aside from that, if Harry touches the cross when using his second skill, the cooldown of his first skill is immediately reduced by 1 second and the second skill by 3 seconds. Now that you're already knowledgeable about the skills and abilities of Harry, I will now show you the two types of his unlimited dash combos. Before we will start, I want you to know that in order for you to perform the unlimited dash, you need to achieve at least 30% cooldown reduction. If you have less than 30% cooldown reduction, then unlimited dashing is impossible. You can gain the 30% cooldown reduction through your emblem and through items which will be explained to you further later on in this video. The first type of unlimited dash combo is the offensive type. The purpose of this combo is to execute or chase your enemies during team fights. So this is how to initiate the combo properly. First is use your second skill and first skill to your target. Use the ultimate skill to immediately reset the cooldown of your second skill. And then finally, spam your second skill and do the unlimited dash. You may also use your first skill once the ultimate skill expires to secure an enemy kill. By the way, to execute the unlimited dashing perfectly, you need to release the joystick and press the attack button only once at the start of the combo. Right after pressing the attack button once, you may then spam the second skill and the basic attack will just execute automatically. Here is the handcam in order to give you the idea further.
Now the second type of unlimited dash combo is the offensive type. This combo is used in escaping from the enemy or avoiding enemy ganks and ambush. This combo is just similar to the offensive type. The only difference is you have to place your ultimate skill at your back instead of aiming it towards your target. Again, the purpose of this combo is to avoid certain deaths. Killing the enemy through this combo is just a bonus. By the way my friend, if you are learning and you like this tutorial, please give us your support by giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Mobile Legends Hero Tutorial Tips and Tricks. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you will never miss our valuable upcoming Mobile Legends guides. So these are the item build that I can recommend for Harith. As what I have said a while ago that in order to perform the unlimited dash combo, you need to have at least 30% cooldown reduction as early as possible. To achieve that, then you have to build the magic shoes and two azure blade. These items will provide you a total of 20% cooldown reduction immediately at the early game, plus the 10% cooldown reduction coming from your emblem. So that is a total of 30% cooldown reduction at the early phase of the game. Then as the game progress, just upgrade the two Azure Blade into Calamity Reaper and Thunder Belt. Just in case you are wondering, I prefer to use Thunder Belt because of the slow effect and the true damage it can deal to the enemy. Remember that the slow also affects other heroes that are near to your main target. For the next item, you can choose from either Clock of Destiny or Feather of Heaven. But I always prefer the Clock of Destiny since it gives Harith more HP, more mana, and more magic power. I only use the Feather of Heaven in case my gameplay is more on split pushing. But just in case the enemy has a Thena shield, then you may use Divine Glaive as a substitute for Clock of Destiny or Feather of Heaven. Then the next items are Holy Crystal for additional magic power and Immortality to increase your survivability. Just take note that itemization is not absolute and will always vary depending on different situations. Now here is the ideal emblem for Harith. The Mage Emblem will give you 10% cooldown reduction and the Mystery Shop Talent will help you build your core items faster. For the spell, I highly recommend Purify to help you counter the enemy control skills. Now here are my tips on how to use Harith properly. My first tip is never hesitate to use your ultimate skill on tower so that you can push easily. Always remember that securing main objectives will give you more chances of winning the game. My next tip is, never rely on the auto-aim when performing the unlimited dash. Auto-aiming your dash is not accurate and will place yourself in an awkward position. My next tip is, anticipate your enemy's movement direction and place your ultimate skill based on the terrain.
In performing the unlimited dash, I highly recommend that you do the zigzag method rather than going straight to your enemy. The zigzag method will help you maintain a proper distance between you and your target and will also help you to perform your unlimited dash combo much longer. Now that you're already knowledgeable about the basics of Harit, I am now inviting you to watch the next video for a full gameplay. In that video, I will be sharing to you the implementations of what you've just learned in this tutorial about my decision making and also including the mistakes that I made. So that's it in this tutorial my friend, I hope you liked this video and I hope you learned a lot from this episode. Again, please consider subscribing to our channel and don't miss our upcoming Mobile Legends Hero Tutorial Tips and Tricks. Thank you so much for watching this episode my friend and always remember that you are amazing. This is 1UP Gaming and see you on our next video.